Hello, hi. <laughs> hello, 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 everyone. Hi, Skylar. What's up, Jakes? Yo, Jakes S321. Yo, Andros. Yo, <laughs> Olive. Yo. <laughs> uh, with, uh, with, with Tetwa. With Tetwa? Hi. <laughs> w T E T W. With Ah! Ah! Hello. <laughs> Rocket Grunt Drew. Hi. Okay, keys. Waffles. Thanks for murdering me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Blue the Hedgester. Yo. Ah! Oh, thanks for the pet, Andros. Um. Just, just, baby. Hi. Tet, I know. Okay, so I'll just say Tet. <laughs> I'll just say Tet. Uh, if I remember. <laughs> Resonaut, hi, hi, welcome. How far am I? Um, yeah, uh, how far did we get last time in Metroid? Um, I beat the, the green Emmy. So, like, I found the third area, I found the triple shot thing, and then I went back to the second area and I beat up the, the green Emmy. That's what I did. Kowalski, yo! I'm in a car. Are you driving the car? Are you driving the car and watching a stream at the same time? Please don't die. <laughs> the nuts done. Yeah, I'm done sleeping. I'm done sleeping. I don't know why. What's today? Tuesday? It's Tuesday. I had... Um... I had an interesting day. I got some stuff done. The morning was a little bit weird with the way it started, but... The rest of the day was pretty good. I just had a big, uh, I just had like a big wrap. It was like chicken and tomato and bacon and stuff. And it was pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> okay, I can watch a stream. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, I'm not like that far in. I'm definitely like, I'm less than a third according to, uh, according to Masters. That's, that's what they said at the end of last stream. Shin yo! Oh my god. It's a little puppy like licking me, <laughs> giving me little kisses. Aw, don't worry, I'm parked in the parking lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> are you are you like leaving work, Kowalski? Like, did you just like get out of work? Are you like are you like on your break or something? Ah, ah, oh three, <laughs> three of the climby kissy cats. Yo, mwah, <laughs> mwah. Yeah, um, sorry for starting kind of late. I was gonna start earlier, but I was getting bunched with my friend Taco, and, uh, he was getting held up by his job, and then, like, it wound up getting delayed by, like, an hour and a half, and then by the time I was done, I was, like, ready to stream at 4.30, but then, um, my, like, display was being weird. It, like, wasn't detecting the like signal for my computer for whatever reason and then all of a sudden it just started working at like like five to five <laughs> i was like all right okay <laughs> i had a scary scary dream i was with a few others in the warehouse with zombies outside what i woke up just when a zombie was about to bite in my face did you like just wake up to this stream did i did i like save you from that dream somehow like you got like the notification on your phone that i was streaming and you're like huh, i've been saved Going to pick up my brother from school right now. Oh, I've been there. Been there. Done that. I still do that sometimes. I pick up my little sister from uh, soccer. 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 Ronaldinho el Soccer. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, it's Popsicle. Yeah, I know. I knew the character. I just forgot which, which very cute pastel dog it was. <laughs> I was like, I feel like I know the dog, the pup, the poop. I know the poop. Won't stay up too late this time. Gotta study a lot tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're not going to be playing for like a crazy long time today. Um, Probably to like, we might go a bit past eight. So the stream might be like a bit over three hours, like almost four maybe. But um, I've been watching Squid Game. Oh. I've been watching Squid Game with my family, 
So they want to watch tonight. So they're like, don't stream for too long. We want to watch it. We're like, we only have three episodes left. So we might try and finish it tonight. So I can't, I can't stay for that long. Cause I gotta, I gotta find out how it ends. I gotta find out how Squid Game ends. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Skylar, yo. I woke up at a somewhat reasonable time for an adult. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> can't imagine that though. <laughs> Imagine being at school right now. Oh my god. But yeah, if you haven't seen, um, if you've not seen Squidward Game, if you have Netflix, uh, I definitely recommend it. But also, if you watch it, uh, I won't spoil anything. But if, if you watch it, watch it in, um, watch it subbed. Don't watch the dub. Unless, like, you, like, need to watch the dub. But the sub is a lot better i watched like five minutes of the dub and i was like ew this is the acting so much worse it's so bad <laughs> but it's so good if you don't mind reading subtitles and i don't mind at all i know how it ends but i have no idea about anything else oh no you got it spoiled that sucks also uh, p p uh padeyafu um chris messaged me and showed me uh the nut hat progress um it looks awesome it looks like real wood or like real nut or whatever <laughs> real nut in the f nut reality <laughs> we look so cool um i seen it with the dub and it was so bad ah i had to watch the whole series with my family dubbed it was weird yeah it's like it's such a bad i, I don't know if it's like it's it's like kind of laughably bad like if you know if you know like the difference between a good dub and a bad dub, then yeah, it's pretty bad. Like, like, like I was watching, like, there's some dubs I like. Like, I like the Space Dandy dub. Um, if I ever watched, like, Dragon Ball Z or, like, Pokemon or whatever, I watched the dub of those. Um, the Dragon Ball Z dub is pretty good. At least, like, the, the new ones. Um, but, yeah, with Squid Game, it was just, I, I don't know, I could just... Within like the first five, 10 minutes, I, I just knew. I was like, yeah, this just seems like, it seems like they got like B-list anime dub voices and just use them for it. <laughs> like, like you know the way like a some anime dubs go where they're just like very like, huh, oh, my, my mother, huh, ah. Like they're, they're just talking like that. Like it wasn't like that extreme, but it was like enough where you could kind of notice. I was just like, yeah. This feels like not the best. <laughs> like, like it was very hard to take it seriously because they just like talked like, oh, uh -huh. like it seemed like they were doing like weird voices for whatever reason. Yeah, it's it's all right, but it's just off. Like, you know, then they got like the old lady, but it's like, oh, you could tell they couldn't find like an old lady. So they just got someone to do like an old lady voice, which sounds completely different than an actual old lady. Like, like you could tell it's like this just sounds like someone doing a funny voice. Not like an actual like old woman. Like they, sh it's just like, like stuff like that. <laughs> uh. Funimation dub of DBZ is iconic. Yeah, I, I saw I saw the Funimation dub of the Boo Saga, and everything else I watched the Kai dub. I don't know if that's Funimation still, but yeah, that that one's good. I like that one. Have I seen Ghost Stories English stuff? Oh God. <laughs> I haven't seen all of it, but I've seen like that one video where it's just like ghost stories out of context or whatever. Like the one where there's just a lot of just clips from it. I've seen like a good amount of that. <laughs> That's a legendary dub. That's like a funny one. Yeah, Discord bot kept flagging the pick inappropriate. That's so weird. What are we up to today, Nut Boy? Nut Boy! Rotary Rotini, Percy Bobini. <laughs> Yo, Percy, thanks so much for the resub. Thanks for being nutty, buddy. Thanks for the four months of uh, money. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, thank you. Um, What are we up to? We're going to play some more Metroid. We're going to play some more Metroid. I'm going to get into that in a schmeck. In a schmeckend. Um, but yeah, yeah, the old guy sounds so weird. Uh, I didn't get that far into the, the dub of Squid Game, but like, yeah, I was just like, see, cause I was watching it with my older brother and he doesn't watch like anime or anything. 
like so he's not really used to subs he's like i've done it like a few times but he's like but i don't know and i was like no we should watch the sub because i heard online also i feel like my blinking's weird today like i feel like i'm extra extra one eye blinky for some reason um because I, I heard on Twitter that the dub was like kind of eh, like not very good. <laughs> so I was like, no, we should watch the sub. And he was like, uh, all right. But then like when we turned it on, it was like automatically set to the dub. And I was just like, oh boy. And then we watched like five minutes. And I was like, can we change it? And he was like, what? Why? And I was like, this is bad. And he was like, yeah, it seems like a little off. And I was like, yeah, it's bad. We got to change it. And then we did. And then it was so much better. <laughs> and he like got into it and he was like fine with reading it. I was like, yes, yes. And then my mom wanted to watch and then my mom got into it. And now my little sister's watching. So now like it's the four of us and we're watching Squid Game. <laughs> I committed a massacre on your Kyan Jack. A bunch of pistachios was lost. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Octopus activities, <laughs> Octo game. Octo play, I don't know. Squidward game. Yeah, um. Uh. Speaking of nuts and getting my kind massacred, uh, I, I added a butt ton of nuts to the exclamation point nut command. I want to make some more fun commands. I just have to think of them and think of different ways, different ways for them to like be done. Like, uh,. Yeah, see, there's the deke nut, the red bopple nut. These are real nuts. I looked up, I went on Wikipedia and I just like put in a bunch of crazy sounding nuts. Yeah, well, yellow walnut, that's new. <laughs> Try to imagine the American remake. They better not make an American remake. I really hope they don't. That'd be really dumb. I mean, I don't know. It's so, it's so pointless. It's like, A, there's a dub if you really can't stand reading. And B, the sub is like uh, awesome and amazing. And it's like... The only reason you would have to make a remake at this point, because it's like it's not like no, it's not like people aren't watching it. It's number one in the USA. The only reason you would you would have to make a remake is because you're like, eh, this doesn't appeal to the average white American who doesn't want to look at Korean people. Like, like that's the only reason, which is like awful. And it's like if that's your reason for not watching or whatever, that's like you're racist. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. This. It, like, there's no, there's no reason, just, uh, like, whatever. Watch The Hunger Games if you have to, which isn't even, isn't even as good, in my opinion. <laughs> That's right, I said it. I don't think The Hunger Games is that good. I've watched the first movie, the other ones, I didn't really care about. There. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> I said it. Similar to the Battle Royale manga, um, I mean, similar in the fact that it's, like, a contest and people die. That's pretty much it. <laughs> support your hot take yeah <laughs> yeah the first one was really good and then the rest i was just like mm, it's fine <laughs> it's fine it's just whenever it would come on on tv or whatever i'd just get bored i'd be like, I'd be like mm, i guess i'll watch i like the only reason to watch it is to be like i want to know what happens in the end but actually watching it i was not having a good time <laughs> after the first movie the first movie i really liked <laughs> uh yeah, why do people get so mad over reading one line at a time while watching a show? Well, because a lot of people aren't used to it. Like, which I I can understand. Like, it's definitely jarring the first time you ever watch a sub. You're like, oh, wait, I have to, like, read? But, like, once you just do it, it's, like, it's it's so much easier. Or, it's easier than you'd think it would be. I see, never mind. Oh. <laughs> wait, never mind what? you? I'm sorry, if you like The Hunger Games, that's okay, too. I like the Hunger Games. I just don't love them. I think I like. I've been enjoying Squid Game more <laughs> personally. Are there even any squids in Squid Game? Uh, I've yet to seen a single squid, to be honest. To be honest, I have not seen one squid. Oh wait, Sangwoo's mother had a shop where she sold squid. Okay, then there was squid. There was some squid being sold. And then the, the show opens up talking about this game that they used to play as kids called Squid Game. But that's that's all I know as far as squid related things. I don't want to talk about this too much because I don't want to spoil anyone. And I don't want to inadvertently get spoiled. So, yeah. No, I don't like Thunder Games. I meant, never mind about it. It sounded like Battle Royale. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, and Battle Royale was like the original thing that Hunger Games was kind of like 
very inspired by. Very... Or you could say it was like a ripoff. <laughs> I mean, it's not exact, so I would say it's more just inspired by. But... Well, actually, I'm not really sure. I gotta watch Battle Royale. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I read Hunger Games. I enjoyed reading it. The first one. The other ones I didn't care about. <laughs> it's very good. Time to screen in VC. Scream Battle Royale. I would screen Battle Royale, honestly. I think I did I did see like the end of Battle Royale. I saw like the last 30 minutes. Um, because my friends were watching it one day. And I like walked in. I was like, boop 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 boop. Oh, Squid Game? Oh yeah, Squid Game. I'd say neither of them are really for kids. So we'd have to like we'd have to screen it and be like, alright, you gotta be like old enough to watch this or whatever. But um Yeah, definitely not for kids. Although, you know, my little sister's watching with us and she's 15, I think. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean we fast forwarded through some parts, but <laughs> for the most part, we've seen everything. Hi Hoodie Hero. Alright, let's get into the Speaking of games and squids, let's play a Space Jellyfish game right now. AKA Metroid. Metroid. I've been itching to play this game. Because I only played it on Friday. And then I was like... Um... Alright, I'm gonna save it till the next stream. And, um... I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting. I've been like, ah, I want to know what happens next. And I don't want to get spoiled. Because, um... Mads is working on a Metroid video, and so I'm, he's having me draw, like, backgrounds and characters and stuff, and he's like, uh, how far are you in the game? And I'm like, uh, uh, not that far. So, uh, he doesn't want to spoil me, but, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make that shmoney. So, I gotta get, I gotta get into this. <laughs> Papa! If you're under 18, you must have a parent sign off, and yes, with parental permission. Speaking of, like, par parental permission... Um, oh wait, I gotta turn on the, the sound. Speaking of parental permission, did any of you guys, um, use, is this Squid Game involved? Oh, Pika Blue, that's like one of the games. There's like multiple games. I don't want to go too, too much into it though, because I don't want to spoil people. But, um, speaking of games with parental or things with parental permission. Did any of y'all ever play or like go on Flipnote Hatena? Like back in the old days on the DSi, the original Flipnote Hatena. Cause I remember that when I was on that, I was like 12 or like 13, 14 or something like that. I think I was like 12. And there was like, there was a thing where if you wanted to go on Flipnote Hatena, you literally had to like, I think you had to like print out this piece of paper from like the Hatena website and get your parents to like sign it and then you had to send it to them or something like that or like send them like a scan of it or, or something like you had to literally get your parents permission for them to let you on Flipnote Hatena as a kid and I remember having to do that and I was like I was like I gotta get on it or maybe not to get on it but like to be able to post on it or something like I think it was just to get on it. Like, Nintendo was kind of like, that was a thing. I do not remember that. I think it was like, if you were under 13 or something like that, you had to do that. And I remember I was under 13 and I was just thinking like, maybe I should just lie by my age, but I, I didn't. And I, I had to do that. There was like a whole thing. I had to get my, I did literally get my mom to sign this thing that, that I could go on this like online animation service thing. It was kind of wild. Yo, the jingle! I love the jingle. Okay, right, I gotta... Let me... Fix my face so I'm facing the right way. Okay. There we go. <laughs> you were a cool kid if you didn't ask your parents permission to go on the Disney Channel website. <laughs> oh yeah, they're always like, ask your parent or guardian for permission. Especially like to go on like the Cartoon Network website and play like... Did you guys ever go on the Cartoon Network website and play that one Teen Titans game? Where it was like Teen Titans, but you were like fighting. 
it was like it was like a fighting game kind of and you have to fight like the the evil team with uh like Terra and the little the little green boy one beans 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 hello hello having parental permission is very radical I think I would actually ask my mom permission but it was also because like I didn't have my own computer so I would have to like use hers so I'd be like mom can I go on cartoonnetwork.com and she'd be like okay <laughs> oh yeah wait we got the morph ball hell yeah in some games when you get the morph ball you can't jump with it or at least not not yet like you have to find that so it's cool that they just give you that in the start that one total drama island game collection on cn I love games. I never, I never played that one, unfortunately. All right, where am I supposed to go? Uh, oh yeah, we're back in Artaria. I could probably go up there. Yeah, let's see, like, what's this way? Because now we have the morph ball, so we could go like this way. Yo! Haha! Oh, it's just an energy part. Okay, okay. Beast Boy? What about Beast Boy? Beast Boy's awesome. I I wanted out of all the powers, I always wanted Beast Boy's powers. And I always felt bad for Cyborg, because he was part cyborg, and he was sad that he wasn't like fully a human or whatever and i was always like <laughs> cyborg <laughs> i was always sad that makes me a furry that's probably yeah <laughs> yeah i was that kid that they were always like oh what superpower would you want to have and i'd be like shape-shifting <laughs> all the way but like shape-shifting so overpowered too because it's like well a you could like look like anything which is really cool and B, you could like do anything. It's like you could shape shift into something that can like fly or whatever, or swim underwater. Like you, you, you have all these crazy. You basically have like a ton of powers in one. I remember playing Shockwave Flash games on Candy Stand with dial-up internet. I don't know if I know Candy Stand. My main, like, internet squeezes were, like, AddictingGames.com, um, and then, like, Webkins and, like, Neopets, and then, like, Cartoon Network, and then there was, like, the iCarly, <laughs> oh god, there was, like, the iCarly website, too. I didn't go on that one that much, actually, but I would check it. <laughs> Sleepy. Sleepy Percy. What is up with this weird door? Weird. Bad games. Early 2000s. Yeah, I was born in 1998, so, like, I wasn't very cognizant until. I didn't really start going onto the internet until, like, around the time, like, YouTube was, like, starting. Maybe a little bit before then. But I remember, do you guys remember what the first, like, YouTube, what the first ever YouTube video you saw was? Like, that might be something, like, just I remember. I don't know if this was, like, the first one I ever saw, but the first one I ever saw was either, uh, it was either, like, the Numa Numa guy, <laughs> or, like, the angry German kid playing Super Mario 64. That's just what he was called. He was called Angry German Kid. Um, or Pokemon Spoof. It was one of those three. I'm not sure what the order was, but I remember watching those three at like the same time. <laughs> Armor game. Oh yeah, Armor Games. Uh, Club Penguin and Adventure Quest Worlds. I never really played Adventure Quest, but I heard about it. My friend Jordan, uh, they would always talk about Adventure Quest like on the bus. And they were like, oh, you should play Adventure Quest. And I was like, maybe, but I don't think it like worked on my computer or something. Hi, Jack, I'm not saying, but I want to say hi. I hope you're doing well and have a great night, though. Hi, Meowie. <laughs> and hope you, uh, I hope you have an awesome night, too. 
Thanks for popping in. I appreciate that. Pop. 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 Damn. Okay. But yeah, I remember Armor Games. I didn't really play that much Club Penguin, though. I was Muffins. I <laughs> know, by Liam Kyle Sullivan. Or the Numa Numa. Muffins by Leo, Liam Kyle Sullivan. And of course there was like the Num 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 song. You know, the one that was like, Num 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 That wasn't one of my first ones. But what's happening? What the hell? Woo! Woo! Oh, what's happening? Oh my god, what? Okay, ah. Oh god. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here! <laughs> what? Oh my god. I was just trying to talk about YouTube. YouTube. What is happening? Everything's getting hot. Whoa. Uh, uh. Ooh. Um. This way. Oh! 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 <laughs> what? Wait, no, no. Up. Oh. Nope. Oh, I gotta shoot that. Uh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! What is going on? Holy cow, what? <laughs> that was crazy. Gosh. <laughs> I don't know if I know the muffin thing. It rings a bell, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. <laughs> For whatever reason. Sonic shorts. Um. I think I remember those. Were those the ones that they had like a ton of them? It was like Son Sonic Shorts Collection or something? I watched those a bunch too. And like Super Mario Bros. Z. My first YouTube video I ever saw was this old cartoon called Bernard about this silly big bear. Hmm, I don't know if I know that one. I just remind you of the Num 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 song. Yeah. The Num Num song is cool. <laughs> it was so simple. Such a simple time. Why the hell am I in a car? That's why Sonic Drift sucks. Yeah, that was the one. The Sonic Shorts. The, that was the one where there was like the one skit where there was the one with the one and the one thing happened when they went, whoa. And Sonic went, haha, one! No. <laughs> um, that was the animation where there was one part of it. Oh. <laughs> Blue3260, thank you so much for the sub. Thanks for being a nutty buddy. Yo, good at see me. There was, I was saying, one of the skits I remember from that is, um, it's the scene from Sonic Adventure 2 where Sonic and Shadow meet up in Green Forest or whatever, and it's like, I found you, faker. <laughs> Wait, I found you, faker. And then he goes, faker, I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. And then Sonic goes like, I'll make you eat those words. But then like he actually makes Shadow eat the words. Like he picks up the subtitles and like shoves them in his mouth. <laughs> oh yeah, or the Eggman dance, yeah. 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 And nap, hope all things run great today. Enjoy your nap, Percy. Thanks for popping in. Hope you have a nice one. I hope it's not one of those awful naps where you have existential dreams and you wake up and feel like you don't know where you are. Like, I hope it's not like one of those. For your sake. Uh, what's this? Oh, I'm so bright. <sighs> oh. Whoa. Oh! The animations are just so cool. <gasps> Whoa, new colors! <gasps> We're orange! We're orange again! Wow, I didn't think we'd get the orange so soon. Like, I thought that would be like the last one. We've got the Varia suit! Yo! Oh, so that means we could go in like hot places. Uh, reduce damage taken from energy. Enemy attacks and insulates Samus from extreme heat. However, it does not prevent damage from extreme cold and lava. 
Okay. So, I can walk in lava, but I can go in hot places. That's pretty much it. Slightly increases the dash melee's damage. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, the animations in this game are so good. Oh, like, oh, that's so cool. And, like, the little... Ooh, look at that. She just, like, runs up on there. It's just cool. It's just cool. Um, also, I'm gonna adjust the brightness a little bit. That should be a little better. <laughs> well, Olive, thanks for the pet. <laughs> Thank you for the pet, sir. Right in the nut. Uh, hell yeah. Speaking of YouTube, though. Um. Ooh. Oh, it looks so cool in here. Speaking of YouTube. Uh, did you guys hear that? They're not doing YouTube rewinds anymore. Like, ever. Like, they kind of just said, like, yeah, we're not going to do them anymore. Like, it's just a thing of the past now. Ugh. I like the classic platform. was pretty bad. I got to go. Oh, bye, Andres. Thanks for popping by. Thanks for chilling. Ow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Or night. Yo, okay, wait, so this is lava. Wow, that's killing me really fast. <laughs> Worth it, though. But yeah, like, YouTube, like, showed up, and they were just like, yo, yeah. Yo, YouTube Rewind, it's gone now. Like, forever. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah, YouTube 2020 is real and it's just a shitty Broadway. <laughs> Broadway? I think you're thinking of 2019, maybe. Because 2020... 2020's one... Well, that makes sense that you think of 2020... 2019's, though, because 2020's was, like, very bland and boring. It was just, like, um... Alright, so where can I go now? Oops. It was, uh... can't get through there. It was just like stats like it was just them showing statistics it was like on in 2020 youtube got over blah blah views and, uh so many people watched gaming youtubers and blah like it was just like a clip show kind of and they just showed stats there wasn't a real no there was one wasn't it was that the stat wasn't that the stat one or was that 2019 was 2019 the statistics one one of them, the last one they did, it was just a bunch of statistics, and they're just like, oh. Yeah, we're doing, we rewind differently this year. Yeah. Was that 2020 or, that was 2019? Oh my god. What? <laughs> okay. Here I was being all high and mighty, like, yeah, 2020. Wait, so then, and they just didn't have one last year because of COVID. Which everyone, everyone kind of agreed that was the right move. Which I kind of agree with. Blinko! Hey, yo, this guy. I know this guy. Hi! <laughs> Blinko, yo, thanks so much for the resub. And congrats on the... The six months. Holy cow. Well, not congrats. Like, thank you for the six months. But now you got a little nut do with a little leaf. <laughs> well, yo, thanks so much, Blinko. Six months. That's like... That's like uh, two-thirds of a baby right there. Thanks for having two-thirds of a baby with me. Thank you, Flinko. Okay, I guess I can't go that way. I wasn't expecting that as a measurement. I always think of babies as a form of measurement. Yo, Brooke. Hola. Hello. Welcome to the stream. We're orange now. Look. We look so cool. I like how, like, white is, like, a big part 
of uh, this suit's like color scheming. Like it just looks cool. It's, it's very different from the others. Samus suits. Oh. Happy year is two thirds of a baby. <laughs> yeah, you're right. One year is uh, one a one and a third baby. <laughs> Oh wait, this is where I was before. Oh, so does this mean like the only way to get out of here is to go back in this thing? I guess so, we're going back to uh, Catarus. All right. Oh, but now we can go in all the hot spots. I like that. Teleport time. Ah, Olive! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! Olive! Olive! I live for Olive. Olive, thanks for the- Thank you for the gift sub! To, uh, Maybe Drawing. <laughs> Wait, I like that name. Maybe Drawing! Congrats on that gift sub from Olive! Ah, <laughs> make sure you thank him. Olive. Olive- Oh! Hello. Scrawl. Was I? That's something I wanted to talk about. What was, where were we talking about before? Before. I don't know. Not right, right, right before I talked about Samus's suit collar. Before. Yeah. And before the baby measurements. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> uh. I think rewind. Yeah, I guess we were talking about rewind. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I, do any of y'all have any like opinions on that? Like on like rewind just being over, like just forever. They're just like, yeah, we're not gonna do it anymore. Cause like, I kind of get it. I understand it. That's my thing. I'm just kind of. I don't know. It's just kind of sad to me. Like. On the one hand, it makes complete sense. It's like, yeah, YouTube is like, YouTube's huge now. YouTube's so big. Like, there, there's people with like, there's people with over 10 million subscribers that I've never heard of. And that like, a lot of people have never heard of. Like, that's just how big it is now. Which is like, wild. So it's like, to me, it makes a lot of sense because it's like, oh, uh oh, <laughs> there is something in there, something in that hole. Um, it makes sense because it's like, yeah, YouTube's so huge now. It doesn't really feel like a community like it used to. Like before, it was like if someone hit a million subscribers, it felt like everyone knew about it. Like, <laughs> like when Fred hit a million subscribers. It was like, whoa, that's crazy, Fred had a million subscribers. And then like when other people did, like there was only a few channels that had over a million subscribers. So like the rewinds felt, it felt more like everyone knew what was up. Like if you were on YouTube, you knew who these people were. And I think that's kind of part of the problem that started happening. It's eventually so many people were big that people stopped like knowing who everyone was and also they always tried to like shoehorn like like corny messages into they were <laughs> the, the one where there was like where it was like let's hand it out to all those single moms this year <laughs> or something like they started talking about single moms at one point it's like uh i mean like yeah like single moms are awesome but why, why are you why, why are you talking about this in youtube rewind <laughs> or whatever um it definitely got to like a weird point it doesn't come across genuine anymore so there's not really a point to a top feud or more most sub compilation would be better or something of the sort yo jiggy hi that's a, that's also true but see like yeah the more i think about it the more it makes sense because it's like now top viewed and most subbed people would probably be like like what's it, like t series or like I don't know, like those kid channels that just like prey on children. <laughs> like, like, I feel like the most watched channels 
a lot of them aren't even just like individual creators anymore. Like there, there are still some, there's still like a decent amount, but there definitely are a lot that are just like companies. I'm gonna go watch some of your videos now. Bye. Oh, bye Crazy Cole. Um, thanks for, I guess, watching my stuff. <laughs> Jiggy. Yo, oh my God. <laughs> Jiggy, thanks so much for the sub. Thanks for being a nutty buddy. Nutty buddy. Enjoy your, uh, enjoy your emotes. Yeah, Fred retired. And yeah, um, what's it? Yeah, I guess Incredible Syndrome. <laughs> when everyone's super, no one will be. Uh, ow. Um. Oh, wow. I could have Okay. <laughs> I could have just jumped across. The guy went to play an alien in Nickelodeon sitcom called Marvin Marvin. Are you still talking about Fred? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I think I remember that. I think I remember Marvin Marvin. I didn't watch it because I was like, that looks bad. <laughs> it did not look good. Everyone was just getting cringier every year. I'm glad it's canceled. Yeah, like, because that's the thing. Like, it makes sense that they canceled it. But I, I still can't help but feel, like, a little bit sad about it. Like, I don't know. It's, it's like, a, it just, YouTube used to feel like it was one big community. Before, there were, like, Jake Pauls and stuff, like, filming, going to Suicide Forest and finding dead bodies and, like, stuff like that. Before all that. Before the before times. I mean, there was, like, still bad stuff that happened. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but, like, I don't know. It, it does feel sad, in a way. It's like YouTube does become like a bunch of different communities rather than just one. And even then, the communities are kind of scattered. Fred just goes by Lucas and his react. <laughs> you have to do his role as Marvin and Marvin and Marvin. And it was terrible. Yeah, like, Lucas, Lucas Cruikshank, that's his name, right? Like, he, I'm pretty sure he's like kind of aware that a lot of the stuff he was in is bad. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and it was on that episode of iCarly. Like, that was the coolest thing to me. I, I honestly think like that stuff, like how some YouTubers made it big and got on TV, partially inspired me to want to do YouTube, like as a kid. So I was like, whoa, you could go on YouTube and then, like, wind up on iCarly? <laughs> like, what? I want to do that. Because, like, I think that was part of the appeal of YouTube for me. Like, it was, like, this place where it felt like it didn't really matter if you weren't, like, super rich and, like, going to, like, a super expensive school or whatever. Like, you didn't have to be a celebrity to get on TV, right? In a way, or like to make it, it felt like it, like an alternate path to like making it, or whatever that means. Like my my idea of making it is a lot different now, but I think that kind of stuff definitely played into it. Like when the Annoying Orange got its own TV show, I think that was kind of part of partially why I took I took YouTube really seriously in the beginning. I still kind of do, but and I kind of want to stop doing that that's part of it because I was like I could wind up on TV <laughs> I don't think that would happen now but I don't know Scott the Waz could have been on iCarly yeah we well, yeah, did you guys hear Scott the Waz is getting a TV show or he's not really getting a TV show they're just gonna be like running uh, reruns of his videos on a channel did you guys hear about that he like announced it at like uh, some event He didn't announce what the channel was because he can't say yet, but that's like pretty crazy to, if you think about it. They're going to be showing reruns of a YouTube channel's, like, <laughs> of a YouTube channel on TV. <laughs> he sold his channel and the company he bought it, tried to make a Billy Eichner on the street show with kids. Oh, Fred? 
Wait, Fred? Oh, yeah. Fred sold his channel. Yeah, to, like, some company. And then there was a point where they had, like, Fred animations. I remember seeing some of those. And being like, wow, this is what Fred's up to now? What Lucas is up to? Min Panda, Howdy. Cool. It's going pretty, pretty good. We're having a, we're having a chill time. I'm talking about, uh, old YouTube stuff. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? Oh, boss time. Boss time. Got to hear you well. I am well. Doing pretty good too? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, oh wait. Anyway, yeah, I forgot I have to like parry. Hello. Uh -oh. Nice to stop by for a minute, it's time for a good luck with the boss. Bye, bro. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for chilling. Uh good luck with your work. And your boss. <laughs> Don't want to piss off your boss while I'm fighting mine. Ah. Bah, 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 bah. Still very excited about the latest Smash Bros. news. Yeah, like, I'm like. The more I think about it, I think I'm gonna like Sora a lot. Because, like, I like some sword characters, but I don't love a lot of them. But I do, I really like aerial characters. And I, I do like some sword characters, so I like I think I'm gonna really like Sora. I'm really interested to see how he plays. Bob looks like Kool Aid. Yeah, it kind of does. There's like not really much of a texture in it. It's just like hot Jello. Slurp it. All right, I'll slurp. <laughs> Delicious. Thought it was more key and then sort of, Oh yes, yes, yes. My bad. Uh key blader. Not sword fighter. <laughs> oh nice health now. Yo, it's all good. Nice. <laughs> That's what we wanted. We're prepared perfectly for this boss. Perfectly prepared. What GBA series would I take on the go? Classic NES or Game Boy Advance video? Probably Game Boy Advance video. <laughs> I, I haven't watched the Classic NES video yet. Scott the Wise, I always want to like watch his whole videos. And sometimes I watch them at night and I fall asleep. And then I'm like, where, how far did I get? <laughs> and I have to like rewatch it. Okay. Cool, so that's like a quick escape if we need that, I guess. Although, I guess we're not going to really be able to use it, but whatever. What? Oh. What? Wait, this is like a boss boss. Whoa. <gasps> what? Yo, is that Kraid? Oh my god. Yo, wait, Kraid's back? I well, I did not think Kraid was gonna be in this game. Oh, he's all like, Ch this is so cool. I never fought the original Kraid. I never played like Super Metroid. I just know Kraid. I only fought Kraid in Nintendo Land. This boss looks so cool. Oh, ew! Look at his belly button. Ow! <laughs> Look at his little belly button down there. He's got a gross ass belly button. Uh. Oh my god. Ah! Ah, this is hard! <laughs> I got so many missiles though. Ow. 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 Yeah, I thought like. Oh, I could shoot those. Okay. Uh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I thought like um my little like oh no <laughs> I thought my little charged um like somersault <laughs> jump could break that space. Hey <laughs> Hey don't laugh at me 
Don't laugh at me. I'm glad I never saw anything Nintendo posted about Dread then. Oh, did they post about this? Yeah, no, I avoided all that stuff. I was like, I don't want to watch anything. I didn't watch any of the later trailers. I only saw the reveal trailer. Gotta eat waffle time. Bye, Skyler. Enjoy your waffle. Ugh. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Why would they spoil that? <laughs> Why? I'm so glad I didn't watch those then. They're like, hey, look at this thing you would have been amazed to see before the game, like while playing the game. Here it is. In the, before you've played it. <laughs> like, I don't, I felt like the first trailer for this game, like absolutely sold me on it. I guess they really wanted to like, oh, we'll try and get the old fans too. We'll be like, hey, look, there's Crane. The graphics look so good. Like, it looks so... Kraid looks so scary. I love it. And I love how... I love Samus. I love how she's just, like, standing there. She's not, like, giving one single talk. She's just like, yeah, alright, let's do this again. So is this, like, a new Kraid? Is this, like, the OG Kraid? Like, it's pretty, like, sentient. Like, see, like, Ridley, where, like, he's kind of, like... He's kind of, like, a leader. I mean, right now, it looks like he's chained up. Maybe not. Oh. He's not a leader of this place, I guess. Oh. Woo! Ow. Ah, ow, <laughs> those, uh, the shiny ones, the flaming ones are. Oh, this is so cool. <gasps> Yo. I only watched one in the direct which had it. Oh yeah, I closed my eyes for that. I literally closed my eyes and I took out my, my headphones. I was just like, la la la, la la la. <laughs> Uh, his belly buttons. He's got three of them. Ew. I guess they're not belly buttons. Oh, they're so... Oh. Ew. What the hell? <laughs> what? Oh. Ooh. Whoa. Ew. I love... I love this. <laughs> they're really not like... They're really not like chintzing out on anything. Ow. Oh my god, I'm about to die. They're like, yeah, we'll, we'll make these like fussy belly buttons like as gross as possible. Oh my god. Which is like, that's what I loved about the old pixel art, like Infusion and Super. Like the, the aliens looked really creepy and gross. So like, I love that they're like embracing that. And I like how it's kind of funny that I'm trying to give like detailed, whoa, whoa, detailed like analysis, analyses of this game. Ah, this is scary. <laughs> While I'm like about to die. Oh, oh, oh. oh. No! No! God. <laughs> this game is hard. <laughs> I love it. I love it! Ah, oh. ah! Game over, man. Game over. Lame over. <laughs> yeah, I am getting farther. Yeah, missiles and stuff come out. Why does he have like missile shooting belly buttons? Like I was about to say I wish I had that, but I now that I I don't wish I had that. That would be awful. Cause Kraid. 
Yeah, but that is a thing that crate has. But it's never been so, like, fleshy and gross. <laughs> Use the morph ball to dodge the three horned attack. That's like the one where he shoots the three things at the wall, right? I have to remember, I can, I can use ZL to go morph ball mode. Ah, uh, Kraid looks so cool! I love it. <laughs> Hello, uh. Okay, so I can just like jump there. Uh. Ow! Okay, maybe not. Uh. <laughs> Blast him! I got a blast! <laughs> ah, this is so nerve wracking. <laughs> blast, blast, blast. Ugh. Ah, there's so many. Come on, in the mouth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Can I buy a Jack Academia at Arby's? Oh wait. I guess I got people do that. <laughs> Can you? I'm actually on the hidden menu. <laughs> you just have to go up to an Arby's window and just like whisper to them like, you like nuts. Just tell them you really like nuts. And then they'll be like, alright. Oh, I could just do the normal blaster on that. That might be better. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh! 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 Ugh! God. Uh, uh, God. Ah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh no, I'm out of missiles. I need missiles. Missiles. Still don't really have missiles. But it's okay. Ugh. Oh missiles. Missiles give it to me. Oh! Oh damn. Oh I could have parried that. Like that would have been cool. Ah, oh, this is so gross. Wait, that did so much damage. Oh. Hasn't this boss been in every game? Um, he wasn't in Metroid Fusion, which is like the only one I like really beaten and played a lot. <laughs> oh. oh no. Ah, I'm literally, I'm like mashing. <laughs> Woo, whoa, uh, I'm going ham. Ow, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, uh, uh, ah. Um, okay, yeah, I, definitely a good idea to get out of there. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. I think if I get hit, like, one more time, I might die. 
Okay. Ugh. I'm hanging out behind my head. <laughs> Uh, ow. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I do have the charge beam. I think I'm good now. Uh. 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 Hey! Yo! Ah. <laughs> oh my god, baby. Missiles! Missiles! <laughs> Holy shit. What's going on? What am I supposed to do? Oh! Ew! Ew! <laughs> Ew! There's more? Oh! Oh, we know! Oh, he's roasting! Oh! He's roasted! <laughs> oh my god! That was a lot. <laughs> Ugh, I'm like ten. Oh, oh. I'm like ten. <laughs> I'm pretty tense. He's immune to lava. But then where'd he go? Ow. Where did he go? I know. I will. I won't kill myself in the lava after my victory. Oh, that was so. That was so intense. I love that. I just depleted his health. Yeah, I mean, I guess he is just standing in lava, so it's probably not hurting him. Oh, there's an upgrade, though. Oh. Come on, baby. Diffusion beam acquired? What's that? Is that one that goes through walls? I'm feeling it comes back like Ridley canonically. Yeah, I guess so. Causes charge beam shots to explode on impact. Oh. Press and hold Y to charge and then release the fire. The explosion penetrates through terrain. Oh, so it's just the explosion. Oh, ho, ho. oh, that's cool. It doesn't open that, though? That door looked so like, eh, hey, I'm waiting to be opened by some special beam. I guess not that one, though. I wonder if those blue things can be opened with it, though? Maybe. Hey, look at me. I'm waiting for a special beam. Okay, but yeah, like, Kraid, I don't think he shows up after, like, any, he didn't show up in Metroid Fusion, because I think, like, canonically, like, in Super Metroid's Metroid 3, and I think that's where Kraid shows up for the first time, right? Or was Kraid in the original Metroid 2? I'm not sure, but I know he's in Super Metroid. And then that was, like, the last time he showed up, at least, like, uh, chronologically. Until now. So that's cool. Oh, that's cool. So now we can get rid of those stupid worms. I hate those worms. Okay, that doesn't work. Ah, uh, this is so cool. This game's so cool. It, like, got cooler. <laughs> one of my favorite parts of Metroid Fusion is there's this one part where, like, there's this robot that's, like, going rogue, and it's, like, destroying part of the area or whatever and making it really hot, and you have to, like, take it down. Like, that part's so cool. And, uh... The part before this, when it started getting really hot, and you had to like run away, that reminded me of that like a lot. So I I'm glad that they're still doing cool stuff like that. Because those are like some of my favorite parts. Fusion. Huh. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Oh. It just keeps building up. It keeps building up. Oh, I love that. I'm so happy. And Skyly's back from the Waffle Zone. Hooray! I really like the part with the machine, too. Yeah, like, that was so... What was so cool about it, like... And I was a little worried, like... When I got this game... I mean, like... I don't know. I was a little, a little worried, like... Uh, like, some of my favorite parts of Fusion were parts like that. That maybe felt, like, a little bit more scripted. And that the fact that this game's very, like, open... It seems a lot more open than Fusion was. Like, you're not as, like, directed. Um... I was afraid, like, uh, maybe they w there won't be anything like that. But... So far, no. It's been really cool. They've had that and, like, the open worlds. It's, like, literally, like, combining, like, the best parts of, like, all the games. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Ow. Imagine Nintendo re-releasing Metroid Other M HD Remake and they just changed the voice act and dialogue back to Japanese. Is the Japanese one, like, better? Like, is the script different or something? I never really played Other M. I, I don't know that much about it. I love that your direction thus far has just been... Dude, those enemies hurt. Try to survive. Yeah, pretty much. It's cool. It's not like Fusion where it was like, all right, Samus, go here. Which, like, I didn't mind as a kid because that's probably the only reason why I was able to finish Fusion growing up. And it's probably why it's the only one I finished. <laughs> um, so, like, I didn't mind that. Plus, Fusion was still hard and, like, it had a lot of cool stuff happening. So, I still like it a lot. But now that I've played some Metroidvanias, like, I've played, like, Hollow Knight... That's kind of it. I've literally just played Fusion and Hollow Knight. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I played a little bit of Axiom Verge, uh, but I never finished it. I like stopped playing for a bit and then I kind of forgot where I was. And then I started up and I was like, I don't know what to do. I heard other M suck because of that weapon authorization by Adam. Yeah. Well, that's not, like, why it sucked, but yeah, that was, like, their explanation. It was just super linear. It was like, oh, Samus, you can't go there right now because I told you not to. <laughs> like, that was the whole game, as far as I know. It's like, Samus, wait. You can't use your missiles right now because I told you you can't. So don't. And Samus was like, okay. <laughs> uh, should I teleport? What's up here? Oh, yeah, that's the... this part. Oh wait, I can get that. Just get rid of this guy. Ah! Yo, I see. Thanks for the bet. Grazie mille. Yeah, fusion was really scary though. But that's, that's like why I liked it. Hell yeah. It really looks like, oh, you gotta come back here later, but then it's like, wait, but if I use my new thing, I could just get it now. Like, that's so cool. <laughs> Played Super Metroid as a little kid, didn't be until I was an adult. Why are you guys, wait, listening to Jack a dub? I refer to the original Japanese. <laughs> what if I was actually Japanese and this was all just a dub? That'd be so wild. It would be very easy to dub a VTuber because, like, it's not like my mouth moves, like, the way I'm pronouncing things. It's just up and down, like an anime. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I really want to play Super Metroid. I got to do that. Maybe I'll play that on stream at some point after this, like whatever <laughs> um what was i about to say but yeah same thing with fusion like i didn't beat it when i was like little little i like came back to it like years later when i was probably like 13 or like 14 or something and then i finally beat it 
think the dub voice is really cute. Oh, thanks, Sasha. Skyler. I think my voice is cute. You think my voice is cute? <laughs> A real time fan dub. I spilled some water on my shirt. Poop. Have I played the Zelda CDI remaster? Uh, no. It's not like an official remaster, is it? It's like a fan one. That might be like the only way I'd be willing to play a CDI game. <laughs> if it was like made less awful, like gameplay wise. Like keep the cutscenes the same, maybe make them like a little bit more crisp, but I the gameplay I've heard is like pretty awful. <laughs> Yo, Olive, yeah, you can voice act in, in the Jacka anime. My hero Jackanemia. Wait, this is where I was before, right? Ow. <laughs> Ow. I wound up there. Can't go down there because there's lava. That was like a dead end. So now we're in Daron? Dairon? Team effort redub? How would that work? What would that even be? Like, I'm like the main character. Would you guys just. Like, what? <laughs> who would be who? Who would there even be to be? The Jacka Dominators? Who are they? Who are the Jacka Dominators? Whoa. Ooh. Also, I wish I could get over there. I wish I could get that B tank. I wish I wasn't such a loser who couldn't get a simple E-Tank from above a boiling hot pit of Kool-Aid. The action jacket when I'm like screaming and Olive gets everything else. <laughs> Oh yeah, who would voice Skylar? <laughs> if I was a Pokemon trainer, what would my team be? Oh, that's a huge question. I would want a Lugia, because I love Lugia. <laughs> um, I'd want a Morill. I love Morill. What else would I want? Ah. Who else would I want? Um, I think I'd want like oh, there's so many cool Pokemon. <laughs> I like Ampharos. I think I might want an Ampharos. I'd want like out of all the water starters. I love water stars, so maybe I would also want like maybe I'd want like a duot. <laughs> um What's that? Four? There's so many cool Pokemon. The Jack of Dominators are the Nutcat Army. Ah, uh, yes, for the Conquest, of course. I'm going to think about two more Pokemon that I really like while we listen to Ad Dam. To this big old ball. Big throbbing ball. 
You have already reactivated one generator in this area. There is another sector above you still suffering from the black hole. Find the next generator and reactivate it. Okay. You are slowly recovering your abilities. I have still not established what happened to you physically. Don't let your guard down. Your primary objective is to survive. Proceed with the utmost care. <laughs> Why do I have to call him throbbing? Yeah, I guess it's more like pulsating. You're right. It's big pulsating orb. Although, you know, I guess... Rippling? Rippling, pulsating, and throbbing are very similar. Undulating. Right. Undulating. <laughs> Why do we have two balls instead of one giant one? <laughs> uh, good question. Good question. We're going to have to... Next time I meet a scientist, I'm going to ask them that. I'm going to ask them. Say, excuse me, scientist. Why is there only one ball and not... I mean, wait, why is there, why are there two balls and not one large un undulating ball? Yeah, maybe Sink knows. Sink's a scientist. Right, is Sink a scientist? Like, I know Sink knows science. But, like, what exactly is Sink? Besides a blue otter. Whoa, what's that thing? Oh, it almost looks like a little man. <laughs> it's... It's a hedgehog. Oh my god. It's Sonic. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I don't want to kill this. Oh. Okay, well, not that bad. <laughs> not bad enough. No. Sub Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I hate the- I hate those things. Ugh, ugh, give me the purple. Give me that good purple flirt. That good stuff. Sink is friend shaped. Oh, Sink's a biochemist? Whoa. So Sink would know how to bio-engineer... Like... A large pulsating orb. An undulating orb, right? That's what biochemists do. They can, like, create life. So Sink's like Dr. Frankenstein. Maybe. Like, you can chemically bio... These nuts. <laughs> You know what I mean? Throbbing. Yeah, I should ask Sink. Hey, Sink, can you, um, biochemically engineer uh, a throbbing ball? Damn. There's, like, this crazy motorcycle guy who keeps driving past my house. Just imagine if bio and chem had a baby. See, like, I liked... I liked biology... But I didn't like chemistry. Also, I'm surprised like the Emmy's not here. Oh, never mind. Uh, biology was like a lot simpler for me because it was just like, oh, this body part does this thing, and this one does this thing, and all you gotta do is just remember that. And I was like, awesome. But like. Oh, what the- what? Oh, no! No! <laughs> I didn't know it was up there. Oh. Uh, damn. <laughs> Biology, I liked more. Plus, I liked learning about stuff that was a lot more like- It was like stuff you knew about. It's like, oh, biology. Like, I know about life. Kind of. <laughs> I know what that body part is. Maybe. You know, it felt more, like, applicable. 
chem felt a lot more like abstract, abstract in a way. Oh God! <laughs> Plus, with chem you had to memorize so many formulas. Like I always hated that. I hate memorizing formulas. I hate how much memorization bio has. See, like, but the thing with yeah, I, I would agree. Like, bio has a lot of memorization, but for me, I like understood it all. No, this is the saddest moment of my life. Like, I don't know. I was able to absorb biology stuff easier. For whatever reason. Charge. Oh, I gotta use, like, the fast running thing. Go up there. Yeah, the zoomy run fast thingy. Oh god. Oh. 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 No. No, please have mercy. <laughs> no. Yeah, the zoomy run fast thingy. That's it's been in a lot of the 2D Metroids. Like the hyper run? I don't even know what it's called. Ah! <laughs> Panicked. I did panic. <laughs> I didn't know where to go. I still don't know where to go. Okay, so I can't oh, I can't go this way. This way. I can't get that now. Well, oh, there's an exit. So I'm gonna go in there. Oh no, it's a dead end. I have to go back in. <laughs> glub, glub, glub. Hold on, I'm gonna go turn on the light. In my room. Have I got on the counter on an Emmy yet? Uh, I did once. It was it was pretty hype. Oh. What the hell? Was my thumb super sweaty? My like... Ew. Maybe I would... I think my thumb was like super sweaty because I'm like looking at my... The... Uh, uh, control stick and it was like super shiny. Like kind of sticky. <laughs> Ugh. Sweaty gamer moment. My thumb was sweats. I don't really like sweat that much when I game, unless I'm playing Smash. But I guess this is different. This is spooky. Oh snap! Oh! Ah! Yo, I did it! I did! Yo, gamer! Gamer sweats. I'm invisible! 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 I'm invisible. I'm invisible. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> ah! No, go down. Go down. <laughs> go <ahead. laughs> oh, 
Damn. Okay. Oh. Turn around. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Do the cool slide. I love the slide. The slide's so cool. Up here. Last. Okay. Uh, oh, ow. What's this? Okay, that's like a fast running thing. Please go away. <laughs> All I hear is you screaming loudly. There's an Emmy afoot. Why is it a foot and not like a toe or like a hand? I want to see what's over here though. What's that thing? I kind of want that then. Oh, there's an exit here also. Oh, uh, super bomb. Oh, damn, what? Uh, this place looks suspicious. This place looks a little sussy. I'm trapped. Guess I'm a little trapped. Guess that doesn't work right now. Oh, it's a Sonic. That's a subsonic. Oh. Damn. Ow. You know, I'm gonna check what was down there in that door. Ow. Whoa. Whoa. What are those? They're like little goopy guys. Called the goopy guys goobers. They're like little goobers. I love the word ow. I love the word goober. Ow. Gotta be like top ow. Like top three words for me. Oh. We need power. Oh, it's so spooky without any power. Little goobers just goobin'. I also love the word ghoul. Gotta hop off. Bye, y'all. Thanks for hanging out. And thanks for the gift sub. Hope you have an awesome night. A poggers night, dare I say. Whoa. I love big things in test tubes. <laughs> I 
I love him. I love getting my tubes tested. Ghoul. Yeah. Little green ghouls, buddy. Little green ghouls. I wonder why Samus doesn't turn on your night vision. Your cypher suit doesn't have night vision. It does in the Prime games. Yeah, like, I'm assuming... I'm assuming she can see just fine. It's just, like, more so us. We have a bit more trouble. Oh, wait, there's, like, a thing. You're gonna tie my... <laughs> uh oh. Not my tubes. Totally tubular. Oh, that's the power. Is it like super cold in there now? Oh, man. Oh, I wanted to see what was up with the tubes. Damn. question the game design where you can't see half the level it might be on it might you might just have to like turn up your brightness or something or maybe my brightness is a little too low I can see it I saw everything in there pr pretty fine like I I wasn't like I I, I could see like the the geometry of the level just fine oh, green ghouls buddy Bad things are gonna happen. Yeah, like, uh, now. <laughs> my theory. You wanna know what my theory is? Okay, so like. <laughs> Whoa, wait. Let's see what this is. Oh, is this the map? Ooh. So like this, I feel like this island, or not this island, this uh planet is like um clearly it's some kind of like home base, maybe not home base, but it's some kind of base for the Chozo. Since we like literally saw the Chozo dude in the beginning of the game and he like attacked us. So I think it's some like tribe of Chozo. And maybe like the Chozo oh, no. they don't like the space pirates, and Kraid is a space pirate, and it seems like Kraid was all like chained up. So I'm like, I guess, I don't know. I, I don't really know what the whole story is, but I guess this might be like some kind of also like prison of sorts where they keep their enemies. Cause like, otherwise why would they have Kraid chained up here? And the Chozo are the ones who created the Metroids. So maybe they're making more Metroids. I'm pretty sure the Chozo made the Metroids. Maybe they want to get revenge on Samus for killing all the Metroids in the Metroid 2 or whatever. Even though Samus was raised by Chozo, but maybe Samus was raised by like peaceful Chozo and maybe there's also like evil Chozo, like warrior ones. Or maybe they weren't peaceful, I don't know. Because they taught Samus like how to fight, so. I don't know. Oh, bomb! Yeah, they made the Metroids as a bioweapon. Also, hi, Masterge. How are you doing? How are you doing this Tuesday? This Tuesday of many. A bomb that can be used on Morph Ball form. To set a bomb, press Y while in Morph Ball form. Bombs can damage enemies, destroy bomb blocks, or expose hidden blocks of the blast will... 
propel Samus into the air while in Morph Ball form. Samus can also activate Morph Ball Launchers. Morph Ball Launchers with the Bomb Blast. What's a Morph Ball Launcher? Was that that green thing? Are they going to show it in the little video? I'm going to guess it's that green thing. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> There's like a way to like jump forever with the morph balls. I've been here since I started streaming. I just got back online because mommy and computer. Oh, cool. Cool. Thanks for lurking. Uh. And Danny, yo! <laughs> yeah, Flinko, you better get out of here. Danny's here. Danny's pissed. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh. Found the hole. Nice. Whoa! Oh, that's so cool! So that's what those things are. That's so cool. Ugh. Give me the juice. Okay, wait, so... Okay, that- all that area is super cold, but I can go down there. Into the morph ball launcher thing. Uh oh. Oh, what? Damn. Oh, okay. Awesome. More goobers. Whoa. What? What is this thing? Oh my god. And they're like doing all kinds of... Clearly they're doing all kinds of crazy experiments here. The Chozo or, or whoever's like running this place. Clearly not good things. Well, maybe good things. I don't really know. This thing's scary. <laughs> They're just electrocuting this guy. They're shocking him in like the nipples. Nipple shock. Have any of y'all ever been tased before? They're doing surgery on it or like bioengineering it. Yeah. Something. <laughs> oh kink shame <laughs> It's okay guys, it's just their kink. They're into it. Nothing bad going on here. No evil space plot at all. It's just, uh... It's like... It's like DeviantArt. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's live either. Otherwise, it probably would have, like, tried to attack me or something. Cool, you can like uh parry in the air. Oh damn. I'll try that. Okay, it doesn't last forever. But yeah, I got tased once. It was like, what year was that? I think it was like 2017. Damn, it's like four years ago. 
it was when I first started doing YouTube and I was in like the this little group of animators that we called ourselves the kindergarten for whatever reason and we met up one day we, well, we met up for like a weekend in the city and um, someone I think it was uh, I remember oh Danny did you see that video <laughs> I think it was Speechy, although she doesn't go by Speechy anymore, now, now she's, uh, Peekle. Uh, but she brought the taser. And, like, tased, like, me. <laughs> I, like, we, we, like, volunteered for it. She was like, oh, anyone want to get tased? Like, see what it feels like? I was like, okay. <laughs> what happened to the kindergarten? Um... I don't know. Well, I do know. It's kind of a long story. Yeah, she well, she brought the taser for, like, protection in, like, New York City, I guess. Because that's where we were. And I think it was, like, one of the first times she, like, traveled really far. So, like, it makes sense. And, like, I would bring a taser for protection. Well, I don't, but I don't typically have to worry about that because I'm very tall. <laughs> but then, um, yeah, I don't know. Kindergarten, it was called that because it was like ironic or something because there used to be, basically it was just a group chat for people who were making like story time animations who were older than this other website called uh, Yak, the YAC, the Young Animators Club. And that was like a website that this one dude made for like young animators or whatever to like all talk to each other and they had like their own Discord server and stuff. But a lot of them were like, like kids, like 10 to 13 or whatever, to like 15. And when I started doing YouTube, like doing animations on YouTube, I was, um, it was a summer going into college. So I think I was 18, like I had just turned 18 or whatever. And so had like a bunch of the other people who were like also starting that. So that was like me, uh, I've been animated, 8-Bit Ultra. Mads is like a bit younger than me. Mads is like, well, I think Mads is like a year or two younger than me. So Mads was like around th that age, um, and we kind of found each other on Twitter, and then we're like, "Hey, want to make a Discord server?" And I was like, "I don't know what Discord is, but okay." <laughs> That's how I got Discord, and I met all those people. But yeah, it kind of just broke up because it's like eventually people kind of wanted to do like their own thing, and some people there was a lot of people in the group chat. Not everyone got along with everyone, and. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of. I don't. I was never super involved in any like the gossip stuff that went down. I don't exactly know everything that went down, but there was just like there was some petty stuff. I think it's just kind of natural, with, like big groups of people. And some people like didn't want to be associated with other people, so like it kind of fell apart in a weird way. Like we still had like some kind of like bond sorts <laughs> um but the group kind of fell off and i think covid was kind of the final nail in the coffin because we used to do like those podcasts in uh the frederator studio building in new york city which was super cool that they let us use that they let us use it because some of the people on the the kindergarten in the kindergarten were like partnered with frederator like in their network or whatever um, so they like let us use like their studio and junk and then because of COVID it's like we couldn't do that anymore. Uh oh my battery's low. And yeah, I don't know. It, it all just kind of fizzled and cracked. There was like one big part where like there was a huge, I don't know about fight, but like there was a huge kind of tussle where a decent amount of people was like, yeah, I don't want to be associated with this anymore. Because certain people were getting like bad publicity <laughs> for good or bad 
I don't know. For kind of stupid reasons. And people didn't want that to, like, affect them when they were trying to, like, be successful on YouTube or whatever. So that was kind of part of it. I don't know. It, it was a lot. Yeah, Frederator used to sponsor half-hour events. Like, that's how I that's how I did my the first ever, like, meet and greet I ever did. Hi, Twit. <clears throat> On a scale of t 1 to 10, how scared am I? Uh, I'm actually not that scared. I wouldn't say this game's, like, scary, but it, it, it gets tense. It's, like, it's more tense than scary, which I like. I'm not really that tense right now. I'm chilling. I'm big chilling. Oh yeah, Twip, what's up? I'm talking about the lore of Jacka. How did the board of trustees get formed? Um, that was pretty simple. <laughs> uh, Chris, I'm Chris Yim. Uh, they just messaged me one day, and was just like, "Hey, I'm gonna, I'm making a Twitch team. Do you want to join?" And I was like, "Okay." Like, I'm super flattered. Like, yo, thanks. I'd, I'd love to. And then I was just like, what's a Twitch team? Because <laughs> I had no idea. Like, what is, I was like, what does that mean? Uh, and they were like, I don't really know. But do you want to be on it? And I was like, okay, sure. And that was kind of it. <laughs> that was basically the origin. <laughs> I didn't know that happened. Thanks for the interesting. Oh, oh no. Interesting information. You're welcome. Oh, oh, uh oh, spaghetti. I'm gonna hide right here. I'm gonna hide right here. Please don't turn around. <laughs> the origin of the furry Avengers. <laughs> I suppose. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, ow! <laughs> no! No, I thought maybe it could reach me. Oh. No. <laughs> I thought maybe it wouldn't be able to reach me. It wasn't... When Chris made it, they said, like, oh, they didn't want it to be, like, just a group of... Not, like, that it's a bad thing to be, like, just a group of furries, but, like, they, they wanted to invite, like, all kinds of different streamers or whatever. Uh, it's just that that's kind of how it turned out i suppose there are people on the board of trustees who aren't like furries or, or like or who aren't even vtubers um like serva i don't know if, if jackie i don't know if she has a a vtuber i'm not sure actually but there's like there's a few <laughs> Is Jeff Bezos furry Thanos? <laughs> Probably. Jeff Bezos has like the ability to like snap away everyone's income. <laughs> At a moment's notice. You can snap away your followers. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! <gasps> oh! Up, 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 up! No! No! In the... Black! Black! Okay. Oh. Oh no! No! No, oh, that's not a way. That's not a way to go. Up. Jump. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> no! <laughs> One snap, and half your followers cease to exist. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. That's literally what happened to Ahmed's. Ahmed's used like this one website to like help get rid of help get rid of like uh, bot followers and like stuff like that and like deal with trolls and like hate raids and stuff. And Ahmed's wound up losing all of his uh, followers because for some reason it like just deleted all his followers and there wasn't any way he could get them back. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. Yo, wow. What's up? 
Oh god, I'm dying. Oh god. <laughs> uh, what's up? Have you played any more of Metroid? Yeah, RIP. I'm pretty sure Ahmed's. I'm pretty sure they're like almost up to where they were before. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god! Please leave me alone. Ooh, please turn around. Please turn around. Why wouldn't you turn around? <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm getting kind of good at that. <laughs> this way. This way. Out the door. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Yo, that's my third time blocking it. I have... What can I say? I have uh, cat-like reflexes. Sometimes. What is this place? Is this Atlantis? Oh. 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 I think I missed the thing. Wait, what thing did you miss? What's the thing? <laughs> what thing? If I were an English English teacher, I'd be very upset. I'd be like, you used a, uh, a noun such as thing or stuff. Didn't describe what it was. I do that all the time. Aw, oh, what the hell? Ugh, oh, so bright. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thing and stuff are such good words. You can just use them for anything. Anything. Any stuff. Ow. Ow. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of water type things, actually, I'm not sure if I should announce this yet, but I'm I might be uh, uh, ow <laughs> I might be doing why well, I'm doing, but I'm not gonna announce it officially. I might be doing another uh collab of sorts next week. I believe on Monday. Uh, a nautical kind of collab with two very cool people. That's all I'm gonna say. It's, it's water related and it's a collab. <laughs> Did I fight another boss? Yeah, well, well, well how, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but yeah, I fought another one. It was kind of a crazy one. It's kind of crazy. And, Surprised me. <laughs> SpongeBob Patrick. <laughs> oh, I beat the game? Oh, okay. No, yeah, I fought Kraid. <laughs> I fought Kraid. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I beat the game, by the way, in this game. Yeah, this game's so good. Like, it keeps getting. Honestly, it keeps getting better. Yeah, I hate that thing. SpongeBob will join Jack and Amy. If I got SpongeBob on the stream, I could die happy. Where is everyone? That's what I want to know. Like, where'd they all go? From Daron to Berin Berinia. Berinia? So I meant by the thing, I just wasn't sure. Yeah, the, it was so cool. It took me like three tries, too. Sabus, you're hot. <laughs> you're cool. You're pretty, uh, you're pretty, uh, epic. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Uh, sorry, my brain just like pooped out for a second. <laughs> Hi! Hi, Lord Cave Spider 15. Lord Cave Spider 15. Huh? Where's 1 through 14? Where are they, huh? Well, actually, I want to look at this. This is so cool. The waves? Ah, oh, the waves look so nice. <laughs> According to this one webcomic, Samus' boyfriend is Captain Falcon. Do you think Samus would be a lesbian? Genuine question. <laughs> yeah, the look that I was actually on the ride with Samus. Yeah. It looks so like with the dynamic lighting and everything, it does look like I'm I'm there. I'm in the game. Yo, Sink. <laughs> Yo, Sink. Thanks so much for the resub. Three months. Yo, <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks for being a nutty buddy. Ah, uh, we were talking about you earlier. We were talking about science. <laughs> My ears itch so bad. What? <laughs> What? Why? Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, the piercings. Oh, yo. Yeah, they're healing. Yeah. Mine were kind of itchy, too. Like, like not like... Yeah, like a weird, like, internal itch. Like, I feel like the inside of my, <laughs> my earlobes are itchy. <laughs> so itchy. Did you get... Okay, um... I mean, my got itchy also, but did you get, like, any kind of, like, anti-infectant spray or whatever? Like, disinfectant spray? Like, did they tell you to do that? Because they should have. The cleaning stuff? Okay, cool, cool. I was about to say, oh god, I <laughs> hope your ears aren't, like, infected or something. No, I'm pretty sure that's normal. Mine felt like that for, like, definitely for at least, like, the first week or so. And even, like, still sometimes now, like feel a little it's gotten a lot better though it's been like over a month since i got my piercings i forget they exist and i scratch and then i yank on them by accident and it hurts ah <laughs> yeah i still i still do that sometimes like i don't i never thought about touching my ears before until then and then once once i got the piercings i became so so aware of how my earlobes felt <laughs> or whatever I have to touch them. I have to, but I can't because it'll hurt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, follower. <laughs> I thought that you might know. Why? Why there's two ball instead of one? <laughs> Mostly because of bilateral, bilateral symmetry. <laughs> Aha! Ah! I guess, yeah, that is true. That is true, but then that begs the question, why do we have bilateral symmetry? But then that would, I feel like I know the answer. It's just like, that's just what evolution did. Oh God. Oh. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to get out of here for a second. Ugh. There's no other purpose to the second board. Oh no, my controller's not even charging. What the hell? Hold on. Charge controller. It's not charging. It's plugged into the switch dock. Uh. 
weird. Okay, so my switch dock isn't charging this. I'm gonna plug it into my computer, maybe? You might hear, like, a noise. Like a but a Leaning over here. Evolutionarily speaking, there's advantages in having redundancy. You know, that does make sense. It's like how people have two kidneys. Ooh. Uh oh. Hold on. Because people have two kidneys, so if one goes poopy, the other one will be good. Okay, so if I plug my controller into my computer, I can't charge it. So I'm going to have to plug it into my phone charger. It should be fine. Hold on. Okay. There we go. <laughs> no one cares about the right nut. It's all about the left nut, baby. That's why I'm on the left. Canonically speaking. <laughs> People could live without a lot of organs. Well... Yeah. Probably not for that long, though. Like, what are the least important organs? Like... Obviously, there's, like, the appendix. I, I lost, uh, I got my appendix removed. After a traumatic, uh, viewing of a certain movie. The spleen. Yeah, what does the, what does the spleen do? I only really know the spleen because of, uh, as a Jimmy Neutron. Because every time Carl will get hit, he'd always go, Ah, oh, my spleen! My spleen! It's a giant lymph node? What? Also, ugh. I think I'm dropping some frames right now, so I apologize if the stream's a little laggy. A little laggo. Queen is where your dead cells go to? What? Ew. <laughs> the right jacket aim will have their revenge one day. One day. Yeah. It's a graveyard for your cells? That's so weird. What do you mean? Like, I feel like that would take more energy than just like losing the cells, right? Like, if your cell dies, does it just get carried to the spleen? And what carries it? It fights invading germs in the blood. The spleen contains infection fighting white blood cells. It controls the level of blood cells. <gasps> oh. It's important, but you can live without it because you have other lymphatic system mini organs that can compensate. I trust, I definitely trust, uh, Sink's opinion. You know, considering they're a literal biochemist. They can biochemically engineer anything. Sink, could you make Furby a reality? Could you biochemically engineer a Furby? Right? That's what you do? You make weird, <laughs> you make weird creatures in a lab? <laughs> Lymphatic system is what generates mostly your immune system. Yeah, the, the lymph nodes. Like your tonsils are a lymph node. Or lymph nodes. <laughs> Can you make an otter TF potion? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Make SpongeBob real. <laughs> Injecting ball. The lower levels of Berenia are mostly super Berenia. You will need your gravity suit to operate there at full efficiency. Gravity suit? What? Abilities such as the grapple beam or space jump will help you maneuver underwater to an extent. Find them as soon as possible. I like how no matter where Samus loses her like abilities, there's always a possibility that she'll just be able to find like the same exact kind of ability, <laughs> you know, or something similar. <laughs> if I could have made an otter TF potion, wouldn't think I've done it already. Yeah, that's true. But you're you're working on it, right? Right, Sink? You're working on it. That's like your main your main scientist project. After uh, making, you know, after inventing the Furby. Totally. Ah, oh, of course, of course. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Quote ninety one will be the death of me. <laughs> Damn. And <laughs> uh, quote ninety five. That one will. That one will get me in jail for sure. <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> I said the thing. <laughs> Wait. I said it. I forgot. I said that. Man, I'm like a broken record. I guess. Time is a flat circle. And I am a disc. Ew. Oh, God. What? Oh, they're like on the wall. Die, please. Oh, my God, my God. I'm scared. Ow. <laughs> I hate those ones. Oh, hell yeah. A broken demo disc. Mm, ho, ho, ho. Mm, of course. <laughs> I'm afraid of the military uses of turning humans into furries <laughs> although they still want to be good against tanks unless you make dragon free yeah like if they made like chimera soldiers have you ever seen uh hunter 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 x hunter however you can say it uh there's literally like a whole arc about like chimeras the chimera ants and they're they're pretty scary i mean I, I think in real life they wouldn't be as strong as they are in like the anime but if a person could run like as fast as a cheetah or whatever, or like could fly, like you could do some, there could be some scary uses for that. Kind of sucks that a lot of like advancements have to come from like military stuff though, you know? <laughs> Plus there's also the question like, would that be an advancement? I know a lot of people think it would be. You know, I kind of agree in some ways. <laughs> I unironically want TF to be real. Look at an Asian small clot otter and I want to be that. <laughs> Makes me ultra furry trash. <laughs> no need to apologize, broken demo dudes. I think, I think we all want to be cuddly and cute sometimes. Or all times. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> Watch the whole Chimera arc for Halloween. Halloween. It's not really Halloween-y though. Also, it take it's so long. It's literally like I think it's like over seventy episodes. Uh, hmm. I want to see if I could get those missiles. I'm already cute and cuddly. Yeah, Danny, you're Danny. You're perfect the way you are. You're all perfect the way you are. Missiles! 
I'm already a cute and cuddly thing. Oh, thanks. <laughs> In my mind. <laughs> Virtually. Chimera Ant arc is so long, but it contains one of my favorite characters. Uh, is it... Uh, is it Kite? I love Kite. Kite's so cool. Newsman and pointing... What? Pointing gun at penis Facebook group? Shoots self and penis? Becomes a hero in the... What? <laughs> is that a real... Is that a real article title? That can't be real. Is that like an onion thing? Are oh, you like Pitou? Or Pito? I like Pito too, but I also hate Pito. Well, towards the, towards the end of that arc, I kind of feel bad for her. <laughs> yes? Wait, like it's real? It's a real article? Have I ever done voice acting work? Really good voices. Um, I, I've never done like official voice acting work. Uh, but thanks, Demo Disc. I've done like lines for people. They're like, hey, can you do a line for my video? Or whatever. Uh, there was actually one, one video that I kind of played a character in. Um, forget the name of it. But I did it, I think late last year. And I, I have a playlist on my YouTube channel, on the Jack Academia YouTube channel, that has uh, a bunch of videos I've been in. It's like stuff I've been in, so that if there's there's some stuff in there. It is real. <laughs> what? And he became a hero for it. Why is that a Facebook group? I mean, I shouldn't be surprised because it's Facebook, but like, <laughs> like I no. No! No! Damn you! Damn you! Damn you! Hi! Master Jeremy, hi! Hello. Okay, I gotta get. Hello. Uh -oh. I guess I need like the gravity suit for that. Hmm. Sorry I'm late. Oh, don't worry about it, Mr. Jeremy. I'm gonna be playing for like another... I'm not sure how much longer, but at least... Uh, at least still eight. Maybe a bit longer. <laughs> Your YouTube channel, and then there's videos where you show your face to me. <laughs> I'm not a fluffer nut or IRL. No, I'm not. Not IRL. It kind of. It's kind of weird. I, the whole thing with me and like having a face reveal or whatever of sorts, it's like. Uh, <laughs> it's a weird topic for me because. Like, I'm not against face reveals or anything, but anytime it's like, oh, have you ever done a face reveal? I, I have to be like, technically, yeah, but the video I did it in is literally the video where I told everyone I was getting brain surgery. <laughs> so, like, it's not a happy video. It's kind of sad, and, like, I haven't taken it down because I'm like, I don't know if I want to, I don't want to take it down because a lot of the comments on it are really, really nice. Or, like, even private, like, I don't know. Um... So it's weird that that's like my face reveal. So if anyone's like, oh, have you ever done a face reveal? I, I can't like to be like, no, because I technically did, but it's just like, it's not like it's something I like to talk about. It's weird. <laughs> but also that was in 2017. Uh, I definitely look different now. My hair is different and I have, I have earrings and I'm older. And moldier, and a little bit crustier, but hopefully cuter, also. I 
I could unlist it if I wanted. I mean, I could. I could, and I, like, I don't know. Part of me is like, I like having my channel as almost like a time capsule of sorts of like what I was going through or thinking about at the time. I mean, obviously there's things that I'm thinking about and going through lately that I'm not putting up on there, but because I don't really want to anymore, but I, I don't know. I don't want to get rid of, I don't want to just get, like, I don't feel that bad about it. It's just a little, it's a little weird sometimes. It was also kind of weird because uh, there was, there was this escape room I went to in California uh, when I went there for VidCon one year. It was, I, I'm pretty sure it was the year after my surgery. It was 2018. And we went to this escape room and we like, we had to fill out stuff. Like what are, what are our social medias or whatever? Uh, Cause they took, they would take pictures from like your social medias or like your YouTube channels or whatever. And they'd like incorporate them into the escape room. Uh, and they took, they took my face from that video where I'm saying like, hey, I'm gonna go get brain surgery. Uh, like pray for me and like shit like that. Like, or like send me some positive vibes. And they took that picture of my face from that video and they like put an X over my face like you're dead. And I was like, uh, they really didn't read the title or like watch it for context. Uh, and like it almost seemed like wow, that's like seems a little insensitive in a way. <laughs> I mean, I didn't mind because it was like it was a, it was like a spooky escape room, and they did that with other people too, so it wasn't like that crazy. But it was like, huh? <laughs> they could have taken like one of my drawings or something, and because that's what they did with everyone else. I was the only one who they took like the, their actual face. Surgery situation was an intense, unexpected event. I felt like I had a social obligation to take the video seriously, so don't beat yourself about it. No, yeah, I wasn't... Yeah, I would have taken the video seriously anyway. And I... I wasn't really so much an obligation. Well, there was kind of an obligation, but I was like, I don't know, I want to let people know what's going on, because... I told people what had happened with my voice, and, you know, that was directly tied into that. How many brains do I have now? Uh, they gave me another one. Well, I, they split my brain in two. So now I, I technically have two brains. So now I've got that bilateral symmetry Sync was talking about in my brain. I have more brains than the average nut. I've got, but they're both smooth. They're both very smooth. They're so smooth that it's hard to tell the difference between the two. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Ow. Okay, I'm doing okay now for the most part. Thanks, Skylar. Yeah. Definitely doing better. Got double the burn. <laughs> Double smooth, extra smooth. <laughs> brain testicles. I got balls on the brain. Balls on the brain, baby. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> ah. ah, I don't like, uh, I don't like underwater. <laughs> Literal nuts for prints. No. No. Uh, underwater Metroid is spooky. There's already big scary aliens, and now they're underwater. Makes it worse. Swim. Metroid can't swim. What are those bombs?
Have I gone this way? I don't think so. Here's something. Whoa, cube. So that statue's cool. Flash shift acquired? What is that? If I may. Uh, this one's scary. Game brain surgery. I never got any brain surgery. Where well, I put under our wake for it? Did I hurt? Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, they they put me under for it. They they would not keep you awake for that for literally opening your head. <laughs> um, and yeah, my head hurt after for a while. Like I was super dizzy for like a month, and I like couldn't. I had to like basically just like be in bed for a month. Um, I had like bandages on my head. I had like stitches they had to take out and junk and yeah i had to take like pain medication like it, it was pretty it was pretty bad a combat ion ability that allows samus to instantly move forward or backward a set distance with full ion hold a to prepare to flash shift next tilt the left stick forward or backwards to move instantly in that direction alternately press a while moving with the left stick this ability can be used in mid-air as well Whoa. Samus can perform up to two additional flash shifts by holding down A and tilting blah, blah, blah. Immediately after the first flash shift, using a flash shift will consume the full ion gauge. Additional flash shifts consume no further ion. Huh. <laughs> it allows you to press the shift button really quickly. Oh no. Maybe dancer playing instrument during surgery. Yeah, I, I had to play the world's smallest violin. <laughs> Patient can request being awake during the surgery, but it isn't recommended. What? During like any surgery? That sounds awful. Wait, this is like the Sonic, this is like the Sonic move where he goes, ready, go. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. 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 Oh, that's awesome. Wait, I love that. It's like, uh, it's like Hades or like Hyper Light Drifter. So cool. Blip blip blop. Oh, so I don't even need like the gravity thing for that. I could just I could just blip on through. Oh, which means I can get um I can get that energy tank. Think. Maybe. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Oh no, no! <laughs> Maybe I can't. Maybe I'm too bad. I haven't finished it. I haven't finished it yet either, Danny. Oh, sweet! Hell yeah. This almost makes me want to play this game for myself. I mean, yeah, if you want to, Skylar, and you have the money. I would not, I wouldn't judge you for popping out if you wanna, yeah. This game's so cool. For 25 years, Metroid can dash. Yeah, do like little quick dashes. That's so cool. Oh, <laughs> oh I can't wait for, I mean, I can wait. <laughs> for the next smash but like if Samus got that as a move that would be so cool do not have the money 
up. Yeah, games be money. Oh, I can't do them underwater though. No. So can I like blow these up? I guess not. Okay. Haven't you seen those clips of people playing the guitar mid brain surgery? What? That sounds insane. People are insane. Anyone anyone who would do that is I, I, I'm sorry, they're a lunatic. That's so bad. That could, that's so risky too, because it's like they want you to be under. Because if you like move in like any bad way or like unexpected way, uh, they're like sticking things in your freaking head. They could if they hit something bad, like it could be like messed up like forever. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have gone down here. So I can do Death's Door. Yeah, I gotta play Death's Door. I saw Webster play a, a good amount of it, but I didn't watch a lot because I was like, this looks like a game I want to play myself at some point. Honestly, it would be a good, like, October game. But October is only so long. Um, so I can't really get across there right now. What's that? Missile plus tank? Maybe I can get there. I like. Oh, well, actually, hold on. I should get there. Oh, that's a teleportal. If I fell from here. No, I don't think I can make it right there. Hmm. October's my birth month. I'm going to be old and wrinkly. Danny, aren't I older than you? It's a real thing. I heard it's a test if you're all, all fine up there live. I feel like maybe, it, maybe that's like for very specific brain surgeries. October's also my birth month. Awesome. October birth month birthday people are cool. My sister was born in October. So I, I guess I just have to get out of here for now. <laughs> oh wait, there's this way. Okay, never mind. Thanks, Jack. I now I now have a superiority complex. What? All right. Well, maybe people born in May are, are even cooler though. People born in May are the ultimate people. Because then you could be called a maybe. A may baby. Although, Octobi is a pretty cool name, too. <laughs> we call someone made, remade this game in the style of Super Metroid. That would be cool. Although, honestly, like, I feel like this game comes... It comes really close to, like... Capturing the same level of, like... I don't know, the, the coolest thing I liked about the old pixel art is how detailed it could look. Like, it looked so detailed, like, especially, like, the bosses and, like, the alien designs. It's, like, they looked freaky, and you could see, like, all, like, the details on them. Like, they looked like creepy illustrations. And I feel like that it's coming through in this game. Like, just how creepy and detailed their designs are. Like, they're not, like... 
overly simple just because they're 3D. Which I feel like they were in some of the other games. Like Metroid Other M, I feel like I didn't think the bosses looked as like scary or like gross. But in this game they they do. Like they look scary and gross. They're like I need me some scary grossies. Uh-oh. What's the point of that? Did that, like, lower the rest of the water? Is it flooded in here? On February 21st, the week after Valentine's. So... You are the world's fastest growing baby. <laughs> no! I really want to get, like, the water suit. Like, the gravity suit or whatever. That would be kind of nice. Maybe it's just me, but I feel that October is the month with the most puns. The furries are fighting for October or Foxtober. <laughs> May, you just go, hey. Hey, it's May. Hey. Okay, I guess I won't get the water power up yet. Oh well. Way later on. Alright. Hey. Hey, I'm a maybe. Babies are the best. What's May is when like all the flowers come out and when like cherry blossoms bloom. I have a cherry blossom tree in my backyard, which is really nice. It bloomed on May. Sixth this year. And it was very pretty. Ah. Back to Diron. <laughs> Look more small. Samus is really... Samus is, like, really tall, too. I think, like, canonically, she... I think she's, like, the tallest Nintendo character. Which is kind of hype. Maybe not the tallest, like, out of all of them. Like, I don't think she's taller than Bowser, but I think she's, like, the tallest human. At least. Like, Mario and Link are both kind of small. plant dad well the the cherry blossom isn't my plant it's like my mom's plant although I am a plant yeah like I uh, I have a cactus I have a cactus I got in college um, and I named it <laughs> I named it Jactus and it started out super small. It had like little bunny ears. And now it's like so big. It's got so many arms. My mom is a plant dad. Uh, yeah. Hello. I think Rosalina's pretty tall too. Oh yeah, Rosalina's also really tall. Rosalina might be taller. Oh god. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> Why is ten feet tall? What? <laughs> well, is that is that true? Jump off. I should yeah, I should take a picture of Jactus. Jactus is like Um I've had Jactus for like 
I want to say... Um, since like 2018. So Jactus is like at least three years old. Oh God, underwater Emmy zone. I don't like that. Oh, oh, charge. What? What the hell? Come on, please. Uh, no, no. Uh. Damn. Have I played Nickelodeon and Oslo's Bar yet? No, not yet. I'm like trying to be. I have some other things I have to spend my money on this month. And when I say have to, I mean like. I don't like literally have to. Well, actually, I do kind of have to. I have to buy one game for the collab next week. Um, I also want to get Mario Party when that comes out. So like, I don't, I've got to figure out what games I want. <laughs> I can like actually spend money on without breaking the bank. A lot of people can't even afford games, so I'm definitely very lucky. <laughs> but I'm not like, I can't buy every single game. I don't even know if I would want to. I, I'm, I'm the kind of person who mm, buys games and doesn't always finish them. Oh God, why'd you have to come down here? Oh. Super Mario Party or is there a new one? Um oh God. No. <gasps> oh, oh. There's a newer one coming out this month. Oh god, oh god, oh god. No! No! <laughs> ah Turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around! Oh wow, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, collab. Oh yeah, Danny, I'm doing a I'm doing a collab um next week. I'm not gonna announce with who yet because um the person who's holding it hasn't said anything yet and I wanna let them announce it, I think. But yeah, I think on Monday we're gonna do it. Very nautical type collab. Me and two other people. <laughs> That's me, you can announce it. Ale, welcome back. Kentucky, Kentucky Duck. Quack. <laughs> Hello, quack. Damn, where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? Oh. Is that shutter? It's out there. I can't go out there. Thank. Or can I? Wait. No, I can't. Oh, wait, there's this door. Oh! 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 Uh. Uh. Collab with Elliot Page. You got it, follower. You got it. No, that'd be awesome, but no. <laughs> My plant mom, dad, and Jactus. You're right. <laughs> Just me and a cactus and my plant mom, dad. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh, oh, up, 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 up,
Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Brain time. Time for a brain blast. Wow, I'm surprised we found this already. This is a tough enemy for me. Yeah, it was kind of scary. Ooh. So glowy. <laughs> Binging with Babbage. No, we're not going to be cooking. Although that'd be fun. Uh, Omega Blaster Online. The Brain Blaster. No, Samus. You don't have the guts. You don't have the guts. Ah, 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 ah. Ow. No. Oh, no. No! Blah. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Are these just mother brain babies? I think, right? That's what they seem like. <laughs> I like them. I don't know. Some people are like, eh, brain enemies are kind of overused, but I think brain enemies are awesome. There's something like so simple about like just a brain with an eyeball, but it's like, it's like the good kind of simple. It's like, yeah, that's, that's creepy. <laughs> like, Cause we have brains and they're in our heads. You don't really look at brains a lot, but you know what they are. And an unexposed brain is just creepy. Then you put an eyeball on it. It's like, are you okay? Oh God. Oh God. Oh. Uh, oh, oh my god. Why is this one so fast? Uh, uh. Oh man, I need I need to go somewhere good. Okay. This is a good area. Come on. Come on. Uh, oh! Oh god! Oh! <laughs> Killed its mother. The mother brain. Yeah. I think I was like aiming a little bit too high before. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yo! <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> ooh. Oh, and this one's probably gonna give me like the fast power. It's eyeball gore slash horror grist route. I don't really like gore that much. Although like, I don't know, sometimes it doesn't bother me that much. Uh, it depends on the context. <laughs> also, yo, hi, Cambrian. Keep simping for the robots that chase Samus. Oh, sorry, I just killed. I killed another one. Yeah, damn you, Boston Dynamics. Is Boston Dynamics real? Because like I, I've heard someone say that they were just like computer animations and that that they weren't actually real. But I wasn't sure if that was true. <laughs> and, I, and a lot of people seem to think they're true. Or real. And I think they are real. But I wasn't sure. I was like maybe they, maybe they, it's just a prank. Like, I don't know. <laughs> they're totally real. Oh no. 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 I'd rather them not be real. To be honest. Last time I was to dash at supersonic speed. After short build up. Blah blah blah. Press that left stick in once while running to ready the speed booster. Continue running for a certain distance and speed booster will activate. While active, any enemies in Samus's path will be damaged and any speed booster blocks will be destroyed. 
In addition, uh, uh, active Samus can propel herself in a set direction using a shine spark. Oh yeah. Or speed activate. Uh, wait. That one's so cool. The shine spark is awesome. All those clips right of the robot that look very similar to the ones in the game, doing crazy. Yeah, the the ones that look like um. They look like dogs, kind of. Yeah, robot dogs for cops. Like, yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah, they really need them. Photo digital VFX artists posted a video saying how absolutely difficult it would be to recreate their videos in VFX, which was an interesting perspective. I don't know who I heard saying that. I feel like it was a YouTuber like a while ago, like a few years ago. So I was like, yeah, they're all fake and people think that they're real or something. Like, I, I forget who it was. It, I, I don't, this isn't certain. It might have been like H3H3 H3 or something back when I used to watch them. I don't know. I don't want to, that's not a concrete thing. Don't take my word for it. And it doesn't really matter. But there, there was a time when I kind of believed that and I thought that they were just like CGI. A lot of people think they look fake, take, but take it as absolute truth. Adrian, I'm judging you so hard right now. I used to watch H3H3 when... Back in, like, my cringe era. <laughs> when I thought things were cringy. Um, and I was, like, way more self-conscious. And trying not to... Sorry, trying really hard not to be cringe, which was in itself cringe. Hi, oh, Percy, yo! Welcome back. How was your nap? I I haven't really watched them in a while. Not for at least like two or so years. <laughs> it was like back in the era when everyone was like, uh, social justice warriors are ruining everything. Before like, I had any idea of anything, <laughs> like, in the world. Like, I didn't know. I was just like, yeah, why are they so, like, freaking out over everything? But, like, back when I was way less aware of things. Whoa. Awesome. I became the very thing I sought to destroy. <laughs> I mean, I was never like, uh, I hate furries, but like, it was more like, it was more like, oh, I, I was like, wait, I think I might be a furry. And, <laughs> and then I kind of knew that sort of, and I was like, uh oh, all my friends think that's cringe. So I can't be, or like, I can't ever, I can't ever draw an animal character ever. <laughs> that's like how I was. Like, I would think so hard about it. Cause I don't, I didn't want to be cringe. You were supposed you were supposed to destroy the cringe, not join them! You were the chosen one! Ah! <laughs> Jack gets a fursuit. Episode 2, Jack gets a fursuit. You know how you said that Samus is one of the taller human characters in here? She isn't anymore? If you me new lore, that isn't... Oh. Okay. Yeah, don't say what it is. Yeah, try not to talk about stuff later in the game, because I, I, I like being, like, absolutely blind. Like, not even having... I don't even like having hints about, like, what's in the game. Um, But that'd be so... Imagine at the end of the game, Samus returns to the surface, and Mario's just there, and he's, like, huge. <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah. Samus, hello. You made it. Good job. Would I ever get a fursuit of Jack Daniel? Um, maybe. I mean, it would... My style is very cartoony. And I don't know if it would look good, because I'm very tall. <laughs> it's not that I wouldn't be against it, but I, I'm not, like, seeking it out. I'm gonna lick your face and turn you gay. <laughs> All right. 
It's the brain room. Brain room. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about the Smash Bros initiative. <laughs> Are you in? That'd be so wait, that would be so wild. Or if at the end, if at the end like Fox McCloud shows up and like Falco. And they like <laughs> Fursuit's more expensive than taller. I don't know. I really don't know anything about fursuits. Uh, okay, wait. How do I do this? I hold it down and I go, ah! Ah! Oh. Just more material. I would imagine. I wonder, I wonder if they take that into account. Like, people who make those. They might, because they're like, oh, you're really tall. That's going to require more, uh, more, um, uh, uh, wait. Oh no! There we go. <laughs> That's gonna require more material or whatever. If you're taller. I can see that, but I could also see them not caring because it's like, well, it's not your fault you're that tall. <laughs> They're more expensive the taller you are. No! I mean, uh, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Go ho, go ho. How tall am I? Uh, I'm like six foot five. <laughs> I'm very tall. Uh, and I wish I wasn't. I don't really like being tall. I wish I was small and cute <laughs> and schmooby. Oh, cool! You can like jump through it too. That's awesome. But yo, Cambrian, thanks for the the hat redeem. Do I have to say thanks for that? I mean, I, don't know. I know some people say thanks for like a lot of their redeems, but it's also like, you know, you you got what you wanted, so that's the thanks of itself. <laughs> five seven, don't laugh. I wouldn't laugh at that. I have a bunch of friends who are like five seven. <laughs> Five seven isn't. I wouldn't say five seven short. I'd say five seven's like around average. Are we meeting up at the, the furry con? Yes, the one. Whatever one. Pizza pasta con. Damn you! Would I cabadon you? What does that mean? Kebadon? Five five gang. Oh yeah, Olive, you're kind of you're a little. I mean, you're only two inches shorter, but five five just sounds. No offense, it sounds small. <laughs> Wolf's five six. My mom's five six, Wolf. So you're as tall as my mom. Cabadon is the wall slam thing for flirting. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really like... I could try. <laughs> I'm not that aggressive though. I don't know if I... I don't know if I'd have it in me to like aggressively push someone against a wall and be like, Hey babe. <sighs> Let me get a whiff. <laughs> like... <laughs> that's not... I, I, I don't know. That's, that's not... <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I could be your cabadana. Your cabadana. I'm like... Not really sure exactly where to go. I mean, I could just go through that door. That's probably where they want me to go. Yeah, okay. Oh, you don't touch them though? You just assertively tap the wall next to them? Oh, wait, that thing. Oh, I thought like you meant like lift them up and like <laughs> push them against the wall, like, <sighs> like hold them up by the shirt. <laughs> it's funny because I had that image, I have that, that anime image in my brain, but for some reason I just added in like the violence. Uh oh. I guess I'm. Maybe I'm secretly extremely violent. Whoa. 
a violent side to me. Aggressively fl flirtatious. Emphasis on the aggressive. The one pick with the girl lifting up the other one? Maybe. I know there's like the one anime one. Wait, what? Oh, can I like. Oh, God. I hate this dude. Die! Thank you. Can I like. slide into that? Wait, I gotta. Oh! Whoa. Okay, so I can't really run around with that. Hmm. Maybe it's for like a different spot. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying to take an apple juice piece instead. Of course. I'm all about naps and peace. Peaceful naps. Let me nap in peace. I need my lasagna, John. <laughs> it's funny that like most of my exposure to Garfield was like the Garfield show. How am I supposed to get there? The one that was on Cartoon Network. The show was something. I would just always watch it after coming home from school. Or actually, I'd get off the bus at my grandma's house and I'd like watch that there. Because it was just on. Doesn't the speed arrow usually point in the direction you're meant to go? Does it? Uh, I don't know. It might always point in that direction. Because I don't see how I could possibly charge up a speed thing from that direction. And there's no speed bloobies right there. Speed boxes. Seems the type to always be per sleepy. Yeah, I'm always sleepy. To some extent. I'm either sleepy or stressed. Stalch from the Garfield show. Yeah, Garfield's voice in that show, he's like, oh. Oh hey Odie. Like I don't I don't know how, what his voice is like. I don't know if I like it. It's just like it's a very distinct voice, but it's also so monotonous. Which I guess fits with Garfield, but it's just it's just, it's like a weird voice. It's funny. It's a more advanced puzzle, but technically you could do it now. I'm assuming it's like Okay, wait, I think I fig I can figure it out. So I charge this up. Okay. Oh, what? Okay, so not from there. Maybe from down here. Um. Maybe I can't do it right now. There's, there's this thing. Maybe if I could get rid of this thing. I could, like, stop here and then, like, diagonally jump up. Like, can you diagonally jump up with the, with the speed thing imaging? We binge the entire Garfield show. Garfield show is pretty funny. Like, there's some weird episodes. Yo! Oh my god, I love that. I love this! Party high! I saw Netflix, so yeah. What are my subscriber icons? Like, the one next to Trip? Is that an onion? Um, it's a little nutling, like a little nut creature. And it, it like slowly, okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. It slowly, uh, like grows. It grows like a leaf in junk. It starts off like in a shell and then it hatches. Uh, they were made by, they were made by Laurels. They did like a really cool job. Oh. Ah! <laughs> 
Shine Sparking's like it's a whole minigame at this point. Shine Sparking's so much fun. Like, I always feel like the biggest of brain. I feel like I've got the largest brain anytime I Shine Spark. Oh, ow. Ah! Ah! ah I'm cornered! <laughs> oh. Hmm. Neo, thanks for the pet. Uh, uh, uh. Yo, the hat's off. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Jay-Z, I'm sorry. I think, like... I gotta see if I can fix that. But, like, redeeming too many nut explosions at once doesn't work. I gotta hydrate. The hat always comes off eventually. But yeah, since you redeem two, I'll redeem one for you. I'll pull the trigger. Oh wait, no wrong one. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Man the second! <laughs> no, we damn it. Okay, now I gotta do it again. <laughs> Mine swallowed yours. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, Danny, bye. Bye, Danny. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'll miss you. Are you going to sleep? You should probably go to sleep. Okay. Oh, here's some more shiny. Ow. There's like an item in this area, apparently. Oh, There's something up there. Oh, but I can't go through this way. Okay. I'm the item in this area. Go <laughs> Ow. Um. Oh yeah, this is where I first like got the wide beam. That's right. an elevator so I've got to get to there from some other way so I guess I could go there whoa I have so much stuff in here do I like Calvin and Hobbes? Uh, I love. Well, I've never really read Calvin and Hobbes, <laughs> but I like Calvin and Hobbes a lot. Like, I've read like I've seen like a few of the comics. I love the art style, and I've loved everything I've read of it. I've just never like read like the whole thing. But, yeah, I'd say I like Calvin Hobbes. Wait, what? No. Go up. There you go. Calvin Hobbes part is really good. Yeah. Like, I love the art style and I love the concept and the writing's really good like every every comic I've seen from Calvin and Hobbes like 
either really funny or like really deep or like a bit of both. And I get through here. I can't do anything with that right now. Hi, Waffles. How you doing? Hmm. Oh. Hold the phone. Oh. I thought maybe I could go into that, go into this tube, but it's the exit. Did I miss anything here? Power beam door? Beam block? Like, where's that go to? Did I miss that? That's right, I never really went in there. But I thought I got the whole map. Hmm. I read it because we had a dedicated reading time in junior, junior high, and there was a bunch of Calvin and Hobbes books, and I found those. Yeah, I had a friend who had like the one of the big Calvin and Hobbes books, like one of the colored ones. Um, I always wanted it because I I loved making comics growing up. Like I still like I still love comics. There's this whole section. Ah, uh, I'm so far away though. Can I even like go through places over here? Like, I'm not sure where I should be going. But I don't think there's anything that crazy over here. Or there might be. Speed booster blocks. Yeah, there's some stuff. Oh, and a teleportal. Okay, yeah, I'll go up there. I'll go up there. I was writing the Sunday comics in the newspaper and that's about it. Oh, hi, Doki. Got stuck at this point. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna go in that teleportal. That seems like something to do. My fourth grade class had all the Garfield books and my teacher bought me some for my 10th birthday. Yo. Oh, but now I'm back over here. All the Garf. All the Garfield books. Garfield's like over, right? Like, is Garfield like officially done? Or does Jim Davis still make Garfield? Like, he's pretty old. Let's go dead to dread. Dead to bread? How much am I enjoying Metroid Dread? <laughs> uh, toast. It's really good. Like, it's, it's, it's better than I thought it would be. And, like, I was excited for it, but I was also, like... I don't know. I can't help but be a little nervous with some games. I'm like, is this game really gonna, like, scratch that itch? Like, is it really gonna be cool? Like, I don't know. Sometimes trailers, like, they show all the cool parts and nothing else is that cool but well I only really watched the first trailer I didn't watch any of the other trailers but since then it's been like I don't know it's, it's just gotten cooler yeah there's a speed thing what's down here yeah What? Gross. Ow. Do I freeze now? What? <laughs> 
Whoop. Okay, wait. Hey, bada bing, bada boom. Oh, oh. So cool. Looking like a whole charge and chuck. Oh, scratching my itch. <laughs> oh. Yeah. This be scratching. Alright, what time is it? It's like 820. Um. Alright, cool. We got to a cool part. Or a part that looks... Like there's stuff coming up. Um, how many more air? I'm gonna guess how many more areas are left. Well, actually, I guess I kind of know because I've killed three of the Emmys. The one I got rid of the one in here, right? Wait, did I? Was there an Emmy in here? I don't even remember. There's um. I got rid of the one here. There's either, there's either three or four more areas. Which is pretty cool. And the ship's up there, so like, yeah, that makes sense. Did I feel real coming when you're about to end? No, yeah, I'm sorry, Doki. Three more areas? Um. Yeah, I'm, I have to... Uh, <laughs> I would potentially maybe go longer because I've only gone for three hours, um, but I want to watch Squid Game <laughs> with my my fam because we're trying to watch Squid Game and we might finish it tonight and I really want to see the end. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> uh, did it save? I'm just going to make sure. Please end your streaming. It's so addictive. <laughs> oh, I'm... Yeah, Devo, you're always free to go. If you have stuff to do, you're always free to go. <laughs> but I'm flattered that uh, you think um, my streams are addictive. Like, I, I, in a way, in a weird way, in a guilty way, I'm flattered. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's saved. Blah, blah, blah. Great show. Or as fuck, but it's still a good show. It's a really good show. I didn't really hear that much about it. I just heard people saying, like, oh, you gotta watch it. So, like, I don't know. I don't think it's, like, the second coming of show Christ or whatever, but, uh... <laughs> it's, uh... It's, it's a really enjoyable show. It's really well made. So far. I've been enjoying it a lot. Um... Uh, Ooh, the shadow on my face makes it look like uh, it's sunset, guys. It's over. Hold on. Uh, let me get the music back. Yeah, you have permission to leave. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Glad I at least got to turn a little bit of the jacket stream. Fully prepared to have no time to watch today. Yeah, weren't you, like, doing something party? Like, something important? <laughs> or whatever? I've seen the sad man being posted online. The old dude? <laughs> no. <laughs> the local area man lost last shred of hope he didn't know yet. <laughs> yeah. Don't say anything else, because I literally have three more episodes to go. And then that'll be that. So yeah, let's look for someone to raid. We got a raid, so make sure you stick around for the raid. The raid. Ooh. Coca dope. Uh, it's streaming. I've never really rated them ever before. They might be kind of cool. They're doing art. I need to watch the Squid Game. Everyone's going nuts about it. Yeah, like I would recommend if you have Netflix, I would recommend it. But make sure you watch the sub. Don't watch the dub because the dub's pretty bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> NNN is actually no. Oh, yeah. No, not November. Yeah, the dubs. Yeah, it's just bad. <laughs> it's just bad. It just sounds like... It sounds like they... I was saying this earlier. It sounds like they hired just, like, B-list anime 
voice actors to do the dub like people like the old lady just sounds like someone doing an old lady voice not an actual old lady like it's just it's just like uh it just isn't good <laughs> I'll, I'll stay for no not november don't worry <laughs> only redeeming thing about the dub is the old man really i want to hear what what he sounds like in the dub <laughs> is it like funny or is it like oh this guy's actually a good actor Jacket up good though. Thanks. Thanks, follower. Yeah. I'm a professional jacket dubber. Jacket dubber. Wait, let's get the raid going. <laughs> what if the raid message is the nuts have dropped? That's a good one. The nuts have dropped. We'll do that. Oop. So I hit the Windows button. Alright, uh, let's get the raid started. I heard you watch the whole thing. I'm too much of a scaredy cat. It is very, it's a very, like, it's a very intense show. Like, I'm very, like, it's, it's very suspenseful. So, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> the nuts have dropped. It was joking. No, that's a good one. That's a good one. But you guys are the nuts. I'm dropping you off. Like, I'm dropping you off at school. End of stream backflip. Uh, we don't have a lot of time. I gotta show the... <laughs> I gotta show the end screen. I'm sorry, Hardy. I'll do a backflip again at some point. At some point. Uh, uh, blah, blah. But yeah, thanks so much, guys. Thanks for hanging out. This was, uh, this was a pretty fun stream. Pretty chill. I don't know what I'll do on Thursday. I'm not sure if I'll play Metroid. I might do something else. And then continue Metroid at some other point. But, yeah. <laughs> thanks. I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day or night. And, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Arrivederci. I'll see ya. I'll see you later. I'm tired. Bye-bye.